bench that we could put on PTI? How coachable were they? You know, they played with confidence today, and that's all we're talking about. We're just saying you gotta, you gotta go out and shoot shots you have, make plays you can make. We opened up the court. We're trying to play a little different. You can see it. We have to. Um, defensively, we did some funky things. I, you know, I don't know if you guys caught some of what we were doing in pick and rolls. I don't know. Did you anybody watch the game? <laughs> um, but. The biggest thing that got us ready, we did something uh, last night at the shoot-around. We did a walk-through last night at uh, 8 o'clock. And uh, we're putting up the video as we speak uh, to tell you what we did last night. And you'll, when you see it, you'll understand. It's, you know, you got to enjoy what you're doing. you got to enjoy this environment. You, it's a privilege to be here. It's not a burden to be here trying to get him to do that. It'll be on the website. What is that website, Jerry? AaronLindsay.com <laughs> <laughs> That's what he told me. <laughs> Got a bad source. <laughs> what do you think Willie's play? It was great. I know Ryan. See, when Ryan played, our guard play was better today. So what happens is you don't have a whole lot of turnovers. We had aggressive play. Uh, we opened up the court for him, and Ryan did a good job. There, we came out of one timeout, and I told him he had three bad fouls, the technical foul and two reach-ins that put him out of the game. And I said, now you got to understand, you better hope that doesn't come back to haunt us. You're sitting over here. We need you in the game. And they were just, you know, not smart fouls. But what he did do is he got to the rim. Um, he played strong. Um, I thought he, he fought pick and rolls and did a pretty good job. Willie was terrific. Alex did some good things. Kyle hit a big three. Julius, with the time running out, hit, hits a big three. Jared helped us. Um, you know, um, Archie had a couple bad plays, but he played better. A couple bad plays, like just why would he do that? Well, he's learning. That's why. Um, but you know, and again, let me let me say this about Vandy. Vandy beat Arkansas by 18. They beat Texas A&M. They had Tennessee beat at Tennessee. They, the, a one-foot tip-in did not go in, or they beat Tennessee. They are playing well. They should. They made 10 threes against us. Um, you know, we, we let Odom get shots off. Kevin ran some great stuff for him. Um, big kid did pretty good. I mean, they, they put us in a 1,000 pick and rolls, and that's how they play. Kyle, yesterday you said the bench wasn't your friend. Was that why you brought Ryan and Alex back in the starting lineup, or did they show you something in practice? No, they've been better in practice, and, you know, Ryan came to me and said, I want to start. I said, okay, you got a responsibility, though, if you're going to start. And uh, we talked about it, and, and um, you know, anytime guys come at me with stuff like that, it's easy for me because it takes it off my plate, and now it's on their plate. If you want to start, okay, great, here you go, go start. And I thought it was terrific today. But that's how he's got to play for us. Now, we go on, we got a challenge with Missouri. Their guards are really good. Well, our guards are going to have to be really good to have a chance to win the game. Kyle, we have to be really good. In regard to opening the court up, how did you think that would help you all? And, and how did it maybe help everyone, not just your guards tonight? Well, um, we opened up the court because, one, I, I thought we needed to, we can beat people on the dribble. And if guys are ne next to the rim, you can't. So we're, we were bringing our five man up. We're a good enough three point shooting team. You gotta guard people. You gotta guard Alex, you gotta guard Kyle, you gotta guard uh, Julius. You, can, you can't just say, well, we'll pack everybody in as you spread the court. You can't do that, because we can make threes. Um, but it also gives Ryan room to move and get his confidence. So we opened up the court so he could get into some pick and rolls, and you know he needs to play more confident. And he did today. Cal, you got you talked about the video. You, you had a new intro video tonight where all yeah. the guys are saying, "Let's fight, let's fight, let's fight." Is I had nothing sort of to the do message with it. All? Yeah, I had nothing to do with it. They told me about it. I said, "Look, I, I'm just trying to coach my team. You guys put videos together, whatever you want." All right? So I didn't see it. The things we did last night, though, you will you will all laugh when you see what we did last night. And Friday. We are going to do another competition that will be really – I'm, I'm giving you too much of the stuff, but 
the group that got beat is not getting beat Friday. Let me just put it that way. John, you talk about the play that Julius made. He had six assists the night of what that gives you when he's distributed yeah. the ball like that. Well, and, and like I said to him at halftime, the greatest thing for you is you don't even have to make shots. He's defending. He's passing it. He's, he's showing leadership. And if he makes shots, woo. If he doesn't make shots, it's easy to leave him in the, on the court. You said a minute ago he should be a privileged player, not a burden. When you hit a bump in the road, how easy is it to feel like it's a burden sometimes? It's very easy. And, and these kids, they're so young, and the expectation was so high, which I tried to tell everybody early, you're out of your mind. And now, with what's going on, point guard's out early, Willie's out. Now, Nerlens is out for the year. We're short numbers anyway. Our guard play was really erratic at best. <laughs> And we go get bombed at Tennessee and really got bombed at Florida. And so for them to come back, it shows what they're about. I mean, they, they know. I mean, this team, I keep telling them, this could be the greatest story in the college basketball season if they want it to be. But you've got to fight and battle. If you want good things to happen, make them happen. They're not making them happen for us. You think there's a lot of people unhappy we're struggling out there? There's a lot of college towns unhappy we're struggling. They're ecstatic we're struggling. So you want good things to happen, no one's going to do it for you. Go make it happen. And they did tonight. I thought we played hard. I thought we competed. We showed confidence. Um, Vandy never went away. They kept coming. And, and again, it's, it's like I say, the playing here is not for everybody. I can't hide guys. If your skill level is suspect, I can't hide you. It's just hard. You know, they're a magnifying glass here. Cal, I'm on this website, but I have to watch it on mute, so all I can tell is that you're throwing balls at each other. Oh, you're watching it already? <laughs> yeah, I can. We play explain. dodgeball. <laughs> what, what made you and decide? I had to put a helmet on. Do you, do you understand why? And they were like, we're going to, I knew they're down there huddling, saying, we're, I'm, we're, let's just all throw at coach. And I'm like, you say what you want. There's a couple of you I want to throw at too now. I was running. I can't throw like I used to. Who got you? I got hit a couple times. And I, I, I thought I was throwing it hard, but it kind of like looped and they just caught mine. <laughs> we just were talking and what can we do? We got to lighten this mood up. These guys are the weight of the world on their shoulders. Let's do something. We're going to play wiffle ball Friday. I promise they'll lose Friday. They beat us. The dodgeball... Willie has an absolute cannon, and so does John Hood. A couple of them have, and then a couple of them, they, they can't throw. But they had about three. It was players against the staff. John, there, there was some times where you played uh, Jared and uh, uh, Ryan together. Was that about opening up the court? Or no, it's just a rotation. I, I told John Hood after, I said, John, just... John Hood is playing so well in practice. i got to get him in games and let him get his feet underneath him. But the way the game was going, I just our guard play was so good, I just wanted to leave it where it was. Um, you know, but we're – I only did that because of the rotation. I, I played seven instead of eight, which means he and Jared are going to have to play together some if I do that. John, how much potential do you see in Willie, and how much of that has he scratched so far? Just he, he's building his own confidence, and, and as demonstrated performance is how you build confidence. You know, it, it's your self-esteem, your self-confidence, your self-worth. You build that yourself. There's no coach that does that for you. You do it by an unbelievable work ethic, and then demonstrated performance. You build your own confidence, and. That's Willie has just not been out there enough to have demonstrated performance. He did today. He demonstrated what he could do, which is going to help his confidence. There's no question. Ryan's confidence, same thing, demonstrated performance. He won't, it's not me. I don't have to say anything to him. And if I'm like, man, you were awful today, he's going to look at me like, what? I was great today. And that's what confidence is about. And what we're trying to do is... Get them to stay. You got to be in the weight room. You got to get in the gym extra. You got to go over there at night. You got to build your own self esteem and self worth and that confidence that you got to have to really play this game and create a swagger. Right now, we're not quite there. Thanks.